to the weekly reflection on the gospel. Today is Wednesday, the 10th of August, 2022. We are going to reflect on the gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 24 to 26. Let's open our hearts and listen. Truly I tell you, unless the grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever despises his life in this world keeps it for everlasting life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and wherever I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The Gospel of the Lord I recently came across an article about a face mapping technique called the golden ratio, where the beauty of a face is measured by the proportion of its facial features. If not found to be aligned correctly, it can be sculpted and reshaped to make it perfect. There are many who crave for the so-called perfect face and figure and are willing to go to any extent, actually any extent, to obtain it. And if we don't undergo any physical or cosmetic change, then we use all sorts of filters to edit and beautify our photographs on social media. As I read this, I reflected, we are all created by God in His image and likeness, right? So are we trying to say that God made a mistake while forming us, therefore we need to correct it to make it perfect? There is no problem with wanting to look good and be presentable. In fact, we must take good care of our body because it is a precious gift to us and it is also the temple of the Holy Spirit. However, when this becomes a craze or a fixation, then self-love can turn into self-obsession, which is unhealthy and at times even dangerous. This heightened focus on physical appearance, unfortunately, causes us to reject or discard anything or anyone who is considered imperfect or broken. And it is to avoid being rejected by the world that causes many people to wear a mask of pretense in order to hide their flaws and to project a picture-perfect image. Isn't this a sad reality for many of us today? Why are we so obsessed with physical beauty that eventually fades with time and ends with life? Isn't beauty of mind, heart, character and soul far more powerful and lasting? Why are we so desperate to fit in as per worldly standards that we land up losing ourselves? If you feel unworthy or broken today, please don't be disheartened. Don't allow yourself to feel less than anyone else because you are beautiful in yourself. The Creator knows you intimately and he loves you and accepts you just as you are. And if you need the ultimate definition of beauty, simply lift up your eyes and look at the broken body of Jesus on the cross. In that broken, mutilated image lies pure, perfect beauty. Scripture says, Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being and his form marred beyond human likeness. Yes, he was mutilated beyond recognition and was truly horrifying to behold. So inhumane was the treatment meted out to him. Yet, he endured all of that to reveal his unconditional love for his creation. He chose to fall like a grain of wheat on the ground and break himself for you and for me. What can be more beautiful and perfect than that? In the Japanese art, Kintsugi, damaged pottery is reassembled using gold to create a beautiful new piece of art. Similarly, it is through the cracks of our imperfections and brokenness that the light of his love shines through. He doesn't discard any bit of us. Instead, he uses every broken piece of our life and turns it into his masterpiece, fulfilling his plan and purpose in and through us. So let's not fall for the false notions of worldly beauty and perfection. 
Instead, let his grace flow and make us an exquisite work of his love. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the beautiful gift of your unconditional love that you poured out for us on the cross. Forgive us for being misled by the fickle ways of the world. Help us not to be insecure about our weaknesses or failures. We are your children and you have a wonderful plan and purpose for us. Teach us that the beauty of your love makes us a new creation in you. And only this beauty will last forever. We ask this in the mighty, holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.